Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the new launch menu that we will see on the Chromebook. I'm not sure when it is going to be available, but hopefully in the next, well, who knows, next few months, let's hope so. Um, it's a bit strange because the, the launch menu on the, the Chromebook is okay, but it can be a bit fiddly and frustrating. And I don't really like the fact that it takes up the whole of the screen, which is, I don't think that's great. So the new launcher menu, which you can get if you go onto Canary Channel, so you, you won't be able to use it yet, but it's good to see what it will look like. Can't wait for it to come into the normal stable channel because it is definitely better. Um, so I'll just quickly show you. Let's minimize that a bit, put that there. So here's the launcher menu down here. So click on there, and this is the new launch menu. As you can see, it's so much nicer than what it was previously, I think, personally. You've got the search up there, so you can search for apps, settings, or you can search the web. You've got the digital assistant there, so you can click on that and ask it different things. And this is all set up how it would be normally, so these are all there. So you haven't got that issue with the old one, for example, you had the issue where there'd be a few different screens and I'm, I'm, you, you would have saw it on one of my other videos I made and it was like a nightmare trying to get them all sorted. With this now you won't get that, for example it's all in the same, just one screen where you scroll down. So if, these are the groups, they're the groups that I already had. So if for example I wanted to put World of Tanks with Roblox or try a different one, this quiz game here or Retro Ball, you hold it up there and just scroll up. It's so much easier than how it is on the um, current stable channel that we've got. So if I wanted to put that in World of Tanks, and you can see if I just quickly grab these games, how much easier it is just to put them in there. Change that to games. And I think this is a massive improvement, it really is. And if, I'm, if I can remember correctly, I, and it is going back a while, I'm sure this is how it used to be to an extent ages ago. I think they changed it when um, that you had Chrome OS tablets, so they changed it. And although it was okay, I, I, I definitely prefer this. It, it's, it's so much nicer. Um, hopefully, it won't be too long before we get this on the stable channel. But I just thought I'd let you have a look at what we will have coming up in the future. Pretty cool. I, I, I love it. I really do. It's going to be so much easier. Whereas before, you click on here and then you get that there. Then you'd have to click on here and it, sometimes it would jump out and you go back to the beginning. It got really frustrating. This is just going to help with productivity so much more. You, you'll be able to group things and really get easy, quick access to your app. So, yes, I hope you like that. Please subscribe um, to the channel and like the video because I will do other videos. Not all about what we can't use at the moment in stable mode because it, you, although it's interesting, you might also be a bit frustrated because you can't use it straight away. And I totally get that. So it's all different videos I do. But yes, if, if you're interested in the Chrome OS, please subscribe and like the video. And thanks for watching.